Hello, welcome back to the LNCP News. This is Logan and Carly on the topic of HIV AIDS and the Sub-Saharan African nations. Thank you, Carly. Studies show that 69% of the world population with HIV and AIDS lives in Sub-Saharan nations. That is roughly 23.8 million people living with this disease in Africa. 91% of children with the disease also live in Africa. Not only does this affect children, but it also highly affects teenagers as well. According to research from the New York Times, teenage girls in sub-Saharan nations have the highest rates of new infections and they account for 74% of the HIV AIDS cases. The epidemic was discovered in Africa in the 1980s, but it had invaded 10 to 30 years prior. With limited resources, the disease grew in the late 1990s with 3.5 million people being diagnosed per year. The issue started to gain worldwide attention. However, despite the endless attempts to stop the epidemic, HIV AIDS is still an ongoing issue in sub-Saharan nations. A treatment called antiretroviral therapy was introduced in the early 2000s. Called ART for short, this treatment is a series of drugs that are taken orally. The goal of these drugs is to not necessarily cure the disease, but to try and prevent the growth of the virus that causes the HIV disease. In theory, if the virus is slowed, the disease will slow as well. However, with limited funding, funding and limited health personnel in Africa, there are still 11.7 million people still not receiving any treatment. Not only is there treatment to try and help, but there are also programs and plans as well. The U.S. is very involved in helping other nations at, with this deadly, life-altering epidemic. But with the recent presidency, this might be changing. In 2003, President George W. Bush launched PEPFAR. PEPFAR is the president's emerging plan with AIDS relief, and its long-term goal is to end the AIDS epidemic in Africa. While Bush launched this plan, Obama truly strengthened PEPFAR by expanding it and urging the government to contribute to the sciences to help beat this epidemic. However, recently, the administration of President Donald Trump proposed significant cuts to PEPFAR funding. They plan to make an $800 million reduction to the plan, which will greatly impact not only our relationship with other nations, but the well-being of those people struggling with HIV AIDS as well. If President Trump goes through this, which he is planning to in either 2018 or 2019, there will be, there will be great consequences for Africa, the United States, and many other nations. Not only are other nations trying to help, but so are the people in Africa. A man named Patrick Chamuso lived in South Africa and was imprisoned when apartheid still reigned over Africa. Upon his release, he recognized the sickness in his country and wanted to help. He soon created Two Sisters, an orphanage for children who have been affected by the disease. Here, he houses 15 children who have lost parents to AIDS and it acts as a second home for more than 110 people who come during the day to bathe, eat, or seek medical attention. However, with the disease showing no signs of stopping, Chamuso struggles to raise the money needed to support all of these people. Even with new technology and aid, Africa is still struggling immensely with this epidemic. And sadly, there is no sign of it ending anytime soon. Back to you in the studio.